The walking tour takes people primarily on the north part of campus, the older part of campus, to many of the buildings that were built in the 1930s and then inside some decoration from late 1930s, early 1940s. It features um, notable buildings that were built with WPA or related federal arts project funding. Uh, gives you a chance also to look at some of the artwork that exists in some of the buildings that was also created during that period of time. This takes people into buildings and I think makes them look at architecture and art. Um, they might have passed by as a student. It's, it's really to create an awareness of the campus and the history of the campus. We're fortunate to have some pretty remarkable remaining examples of buildings uh, uh, that were here and we now treasure because of the WPA funding. But also a lot of the artwork that people don't realize was produced during that time that supported artists during a very difficult time in American history. It was a period of time that we, most of the buildings that we have on our campus are what we now call collegiate Gothic style. They were clearly designed to be public buildings and that kind of strong sense of uh, that comes through in the kind of mass of these buildings. Thematically, everything that people will see is representational art. This was art for the people, readily understood, for people to look at and understand something about their community. A lot of them deal with local history or sorts of feel-good messages that the government wanted to get across. There was a strong commitment to craftsmanship during that period of time, and um, in, in many respects it comes out of that distinct influence of the arts and crafts movement, I think. But there were really outstanding stone cutters and, and artists, sculptors, who were put to work on public buildings, and therefore some of the, the carvings that we see on the campus are ornate. The funding came from the Works Progress Administration. There were different parts that funded primarily buildings or works of art that went into federally funded buildings like the post office. Really the WPA funded utilitarian projects like sidewalks and bridges and roads. Uh, it was the Public Works Administration that, which was part of that that constructed, usually uh, funds were used for public buildings. It is a surprise that the government would fund art and this was a period that artists really did very well. It was really a bonanza for them. The entire WPA campus walking tour is available online at artmuseum.msu.edu.